Greetings and welcome once again to Music and Meditation with Pastor Fred and Sharon Moore. Thank you, Sharon, for that great song, Nothing is Impossible. That's true. Listen to these words of Scripture. And it's all about the inevitability and challenge of change. Because inevitability is what? Possibility. Listen to these words of Scripture. And Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. All things are possible. Inevitability is indeed possibility. The only thing that is constant in life is change. I, I, I like this thought from an unidentified author. When life changes to be harder, change yourself to be stronger. Hmm, isn't that? What changes have occurred in your life, perhaps this week? And did you welcome them? Hear these thoughts about change. Change is inevitable. Growth is optional. Mm -hmm. The three C's of life are choices, changes, chances, and changes. Do that again. The three C's of life are choices, chances, and changes. We must make a choice, yes, to take a chance or our lives will never change. Mm. Go 24 hours without complaining. Once you watch how life starts changing when, when you do that. Just go 24 hours without complaining once and watch how life starts changing. Now the only thing that's constant in life is change. Yes. I like this thought from an unidentified author. When life changes to be harder, change yourself to be stronger. Good, huh? Yeah. As a youngster growing up, I got used to change. Remember S.S. Kresge? Well, my father was an S.S. Kresge manager. It was a good one. And he would get to work and improve every store he was assigned to. And then Kresge would find another failing store, transfer him, and he would get that out of trouble. I went to nine schools before I graduated high school. Nine schools. Yeah. But it was an adventure. I liked it. And then the last place we moved, I didn't want to move because I'd been three years in West Milton, Ohio, and I liked that little town. But Dad said, we got to move. So there we are. At the end of my junior year, my dad was moved to Owasso, Michigan. Owasso, Michigan. I never even heard of it. And I was not happy. But I didn't really have a say in the matter, you know. Off to Owasso, Michigan. But it was God's plan. Yes, it was. Because it was there that I met Sharon. Hmm. We were engaged at 17, married at 18. Oh, we've now been married for 65 years. Glory. Have any of you had a story of change? that turned to a blessing. I want to close this part of the session um, with the words of Harriet Tubman. Every dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and to change the world. Yes. Jesus looked at them and said, this is impossible, but with God's, all things are possible. See, if we always do what we've always done, we'll always get what we already got. What if we knew 10 years ago, would our lives be exactly the same? 
Would we be happy? Are we a fate of change? What things are not subject to change? Are there some things fixed, decided, confirmed, predetermined, unalterable, immutable, unbending, written in stone, hmm. non-negotiable, irrevocable, changeable, not changeable, carved and stoned and preordained. Hmm. Tough words, right? Well, what are the negative aspects of change? There are some. some for some, it's depression or anxiety or fear of the unknown or increased stress, frustration, insecurity, because these things are hardwired in us. We want to resist change. Yes, inevitable change can make us adaptable when we meet it with a positive attitude. We can learn to be positively flexible and that flexibility can lead us to more happiness and less stress. So what makes a difference? Well, it's change. Though it may be inevitable, it can be alive with possibility. Yes, lived in Illinois for a while and uh, woke up in snow, had fallen during the night. However, when I walked out in the cold of the day, I was instantly bathed in golden sunlight. The sky above without a cloud to be seen. Some things are temporary. Some things are set in stone. The sun has shone every day of human history somewhere, and it will continue to light the way of our future. And remind us, that every day we are not alone. We are not alone. Time rushes by like a raging river and soon disappears over the edge of a precipice, just like a waterfall. Everything is constantly in a state of change, isn't it? And the fact that moments do not last forever, both sad and beautiful, yes, sad, and yet, just as children grow before our eyes, so too does the world. Everything changes. And we're lucky to live at this moment in time when between, between sunrise and sunset, everything is possible. Hmm. Anything is possible. Yes, anything is possible. And that thing is possibility. Hmm. That's good. It might be an encouragement to think and to feel in ways we haven't considered before. Or it might be an encouragement to reach beyond where we are with words like, you are a marvel. Hmm. Yes, you are a marvel. You are unique. Has there ever been a person like you before? How is that possible? You have the capacity for anything. You are a marvel. We must work to make this world worthy of its children. And it is possible. Now those thoughts are not mine. They are those of Pablo Casals. Not a poet, but a famous cellist. So, what will we do tomorrow to inspire a sense of wonder and possibility in someone whose life we touch? We all look for the possible, don't we? The possibilities in our lives. How can we inspire others with those possibilities? Yes. Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this may be impossible, but with God, all Things are possible. Mm. Matthew nineteen twenty six, and Luke one thirty seven. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Yes. 
And in Jeremiah 32, 17, Ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. And Luke 18, 27, Jesus replied, What is impossible with man is possible with God. Yes, God's promises help us to deal with change. His mercies are new each morning. His lamentation says, yes, it is of Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Hmm. The word of God, you see, equips us for change. It does, indeed. Psalm 119, your word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. So, do we want possibility? Do we want more, more than possibility? Do we want certainty that possibility is possible? Does that make sense? Huh? Do we want possibility that indeed is possible? Ooh. That possibility is certain? Possibility, inevitability. We can see it if we want to. We can embrace it if we want to. We can find joy in it if we want to. We want to. Ralph Waldo Emerson, he put it this way, to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to leave this world a better place, to know even one life has breathed easier because we have lived. This is to have succeeded. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Those are great words, aren't they? A more recent poet, Robert Langley, he put it this way. Share with me vision of the entire world as free. Borders do divide us or restrict our liberty. Share with me a handshake across a great divide. Yes. Well, it's time to come together and bridge this chasm wide. It's here we share experience, our joy, our lives, our fears, and know we are not different, though happiness may be there through tears. You can step back far enough. The truth is what you see, a view of possibilities where people can be free. I've always lived to live my life with the possibility that joy is just around the corner. That's the way I try to live. And that love did come around the corner 65 years ago when I met Sharon. Yes, indeed. We were married a year later when we were 18. That was 65 years ago. Our marriage, we have backpacked and traveled by train in 21 countries. It was an exciting time of learning and celebrating. Life, you see, can be full of possibilities, but we don't always find them because we don't look for them. Because we don't look in the right places, like finding new friends, like helping a friend find the Lord at just the right time, like joining a loved one in pr prayer, like singing that favorite hymn, and treasuring the lyrics, like smiling with a happy friend, and like shedding tears with a mourning friend, like reading that favorite Bible passage and praying, like smiling at the preacher when he sparks joy in our hearts, like watching a golden sunrise, a sunset. Thank you, Lord for these enriching experiences. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us pray that prayer together that Jesus taught us to pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now, till we meet again, God be with you, and God bless you. Amen.